Welcome to the newest Boomcast. The one-stop shop for all of your entertainment needs. Because we be entertaining. Most of the time. Because I wanted to do the thing where there's two fat guys eating McDonald's. But since AJ wants to think about his health and healthy lifestyle, we can't do that anymore. I want a diet. <laughs> so, yeah. So here we are, talking about stuff that's it's, happened. The, it's weird because I was, I'm fat, obviously. Mm. But, uh... I never noticed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, uh, I started going on a diet, and now my pants don't fit. Not because I'm too big, it's like, they're loose. Yeah. And it's weird. What makes that weird? Well, I don't know. Now I have to buy new pants, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's expensive. Isn't that the thing? Is I don't it, know. You like, just... you like new clothes? I know, but I don't, I don't... That's what you like doing? It's just weird. Because, like, I built up all of this for no reason. Right. <laughs> so, so, such hard work. So now I'm going backwards. So yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like me during last summer where I was like, oh, these jeans that I'm in right now, I could hold them out to, like, right here. And then now I'm like... What happened? <laughs> not not her skinny I, jeans again. I, I miss where I once was. So yeah, I need to lose more weight. You got big really fast. Yeah, really, really fast. Yeah. Really fast. Because I stopped doing everything. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I'm going to start working on it. It'll be a slow process. Well, you know, I'm not going to leave for a summer and then lose 50 pounds and then gain it all back in one week. <laughs> I, think, I think if I lose... Like seventy pounds, I think I'm done. You should be. I'm gonna tell you when your when your head starts looking super big. Yeah, to your body. yeah. I'll tell because you. I have a big head, I think. I'll tell you. Don't worry about it. I'll tell you. <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> you're gonna reach the point where like, AJ, you look weird. There's two things. <laughs> I have a big head, and I don't want to like. I don't like. I don't want to look sick. Yeah, yeah. Like, like Alton Brown when he lost a bunch of weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you lose all a bunch of weight fast, you kind of look like. But the thing is, your skin like goes back. Like, like he looks good now. But no, because he that, didn't gain weight for that two years though. He looked like exactly, something but, yeah, like, yeah, because his skin's like slowly. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's the thing. One of one of um, one of the the band directors back home. He lost a butt ton of weight because he uh, I think he got a lap band surgery. And he lost like a lot of weight. He used to be a really big guy. The thing is, I don't eat that much. Well, you, you know just don't that, do anything. Yeah, I'm just I don't move. <laughs> And then I'm, me, I, me, I eat a lot, and I don't move. Yeah, so. you no, you eat a <laughs> I, lot, and I, and, I, and I don't move. So you know, it's, <laughs> explains my lifestyle. He eats <laughs> even after he says he's full. He's still eating. I don't because he's there. I don't understand that. Just stop. Current events. <laughs> Current uh, events. I believe you went to Anime Expo. Yes, I went to Anime Expo recently. And, um... Not a good expo. Really? Convention was bad. People were good. People are always good. But the convention was bad. Um, uh, people that are in charge do not know how to run a convention anymore. What do you, what do you mean by that? It's like, it's like, if you have this thing, you know, called Anime Expo, mm. you expect to see some things, some anime that you haven't seen before, mm -hmm. right? But then all the free screening video rooms, it's like Hellboy Bebop, Holy Cooley, Ghost in the Shell, Tri Trigon, all these things that people have seen before because, you know, Toonami and whatever and whatnot. Mm. They're, they're actually being shown. Are they rebooting it or... Oh, no? No, they just show it. You know what I mean? So, like, uh, I remember when, back in 2009, when I first started going, it's like, you know, I would go into a video room, and I wouldn't know anything about what's what's on there, you know what I mean? Because they, they used to show anime that was like, oh, like, this is from Japan, even though this is, like, 10, 10 12 years old, like, no one here knows about it, because it mm. never never got released here. You know, and then they would show it with subtitles and stuff, and it's like, oh, wow, this is really cool. I don't know what this is called, but I want to see it now, mm. you know? The only thing of note that I, I really liked about it was that there's this uh, there's this anime that they're bringing back from the 80s. It's called Star Blazers. It's a space opera. It's like not like not quite as boring as Gundam Wing, but it's about a captain of a spaceship, and he's like. So it's Captain Harlock. No, 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 no. It had, <laughs> it's pretty boring. <laughs> no, no. This this captain is uh, he looks like Santa Claus. And you know, and uh, he goes around and he's trying to he's trying to give uh, humanity another another planet to live in. Mm -hmm. So, because humanity wants to go branch out, we we run into aliens and shit, and they maybe, all want to kill us. Maybe maybe we should move to 
Uranus. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should uh, <laughs> colonize on uh, Uranus. Uranus. Make it our uh, home. I heard it's a uh, gaseous planet. Oh, wow. Okay. Is it? I don't really. Are you done? <laughs> I no, hope you're no, done. What, I remember you were telling me like one of my favorite animes right now is uh, Panel. Yes, Yarmushi Panel is a, and I remember when I came back and I told you how popular it was. You're like, what? I was super confused. Yeah, you're like, what? What? No. And yeah, I'm like, was... yeah, dude, I saw so many people dressed up in the, what what school? I don't know. It's not Seigaku. No, that's that's my other. That's Say like, Rin? I don't know. I don't know. But in the school, uni- the school biking uniform, means, yeah. like in the yellow uniform, there are people walking around like that with the bike helmets and shit. And I'm like, what? What? And then and then did, did the, the logo. And like, then my favorite anime right now is called Haiku, which is about volleyball. And there's tons of people dressed up as that. And I'm like, but you said you said people that were dressed like that didn't know what it was. A lot of them. A lot of people walking around didn't know what it was. The no. people that were dressed up knew what it was because oh. they were dressing up as them. But there's a lot of people that are like, oh, like what is that? Oh, Volleyball okay. anime. It's good. <laughs> it's pretty good. You should. Uh, we'll we'll put yeah. information in the uh, yeah. about Cause, section. Yeah, because yeah. like you know, as anime gets more and more popular, hmm. you know, the um, anime expo gets more popular because of that. You know, so the people going there only know like Crunchyroll and like what like what Crunchyroll showing, what uh what Adult Swim showing. Mm-hmm. You know, so they don't know these uh. These anime that we find really fast, you know what I mean? So, it's, it was it was a good experience. It's just that the convention itself was like, not good. So, so next year might be my last year going, and I'm gonna go find another convention for me to go and do whatever. At. It's not gonna be Comic Con. I know that for sure. Too crowded. And it's all the way in San Diego, right? Yeah, which is not it's not that bad of a drive, but it's just like too crowded. It's probably gonna be the same thing as well. Yeah, probably. So yeah, that's that was uh that was the one thing from this summer, this 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 uh empty summer, this radio silence of summer that you've been hearing from us. No, I've been coming out with the whiteboard stories pretty uh <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> there but, has been whiteboard story every week. But yeah, that's uh that was my summer. That was the biggest thing that happened to me. It was pretty good. So recently we actually watched some movies. Yes, yes we did. <laughs> My first movie since Avengers. Yeah, you're, you're the, the first AJ's first movie visit since the Avengers. The Avengers one that wasn't rented. Yeah, from Netflix. I like I watch Netflix a lot. A lot, like too much. I like Netflix. <laughs> so yeah, so um, what did we see, AJ? We saw Guardians of the Galaxy. And how'd you like it? I was super hyped. And I really liked it, except for one thing. And then, and then, the ball drops, and AJ gets angry for the rest of the movie. No, it's like, okay, first of all, the whole movie got spoiled for me. Like, the whole movie. Because we went to, we went, we actually went to a really cool, like, um... We went to an art gallery called the Nucleus Gallery. The Nucleus Gallery, and they had a... Humbra. They had an event, which is really cool, a panel of um, the concept artists for Gar- Guardians of the Galaxy. Marvel's concept artists, and a lot of them were there. Yeah, like, really I nice. think like seven of them were there. Yeah, and they're like most of them were like you know. Boots. But here's the thing. Also, the storyboard artists were there too, and they're like, "All right, let's show you what the movie." Is. Yeah, and then they just they they show you the the they showed us like the first storyboards of the mm. of the movie, which they kept pretty intact, which was really nice. I think they redrew it to make it cleaner because storyboards don't look like that really. Theirs do. No, no, no. They cleaned it up a lot. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you know conventions. And I'm just saying. Because they did the same thing at Comic Con, mm. you know, to make it interesting. It's probably it was probably the same material. They just yeah, they just yeah. ate over it. Mm. No, no, I mean like they just whatever they shot at Comic Con, they just brought it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they they a lot of them were saying. Yeah, and it looked really it looked super interesting and cool. Yeah, I liked how they showed uh, how weird the characters were before the final film. Yeah, yeah. They had like uh, they had like twenty seven Groots before they ended up with the the Groot that we saw. No, that. there was like a thousand. Uh, <laughs> Was the, was Star Lord's helmet. Where there was a thousand of those. No, it was the girl. The, oh, Gamora's. Yeah, Gamora. Yeah, yeah, because like, yeah, because when they first started the film, they didn't know what uh what she was, she, what she looked like at all. Yeah, she was gonna be a cyborg at some point. Yeah, or yeah. Like and then like they didn't know like um what actress she was gonna be, so they just kept on drawing. Yeah. And then um, she had she the original was green skin, and they're like, oh, why don't we just 
she might maybe maybe we won't have to be close so close to the comics so they gave her like purple skin and, yeah <laughs> but uh and pink skin yeah when, the movie was amazing it was good it looked really good i cried the first two minutes I don't know why they make you do that. Well, that's the, that's the thing. Since up, everyone's like, "Oh, that's good. That's a good. That's a good formula." Yeah, but like, give me, <laughs> let me settle in. <laughs> yeah, even up didn't start with the the mom getting cancer. And yeah, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> or the, the wife, sorry. <laughs> he's a kid. It's funny because he can't jump over the yeah, crack. Yeah, he's fat. It's funny. Uh, ha, ha, ha. This one's like, ah, fuck you. <laughs> his mom just dies, <laughs> and he regrets his life because he didn't get to he didn't get to hold her hand. Cry. And then he gets taken, and you're like, what the f- <laughs> What? Why? So, yeah. That but was... it's good. Emotional roller coaster. Like, a movie, any movie that can make you feel anything is a good movie in my book. I mean, the effects were amazing. Writing was good. For the most... There was... The one, the one collector... Go, go, AJ, with the... Sequence with, with was the, so... <laughs> the, the plot device was so stupid. AJ's, uh, AJ's rage towards this plot device. It's so stupid because the one problem with this whole movie, the whole movie that I had problems with, is that I didn't care about any other character other than... Uh, Peter Quill. Yeah, Peter Quill. Because you saw his mom there in the beginning. Yeah, uh, like, if they didn't do that and he died, I would have been like, eh. Like, if Gamora died, it'd be like, well... Yeah. No, but like you know, she's like that. Thanos has treated her, like, her and her sister like crap. So you're like, oh. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, like that was the that was the most backstory any character had. Yeah. I mean. And then and then um. Like if if Batista died, I'd yeah, be yeah. like. Meh. Well, yeah. Then Drax is uh. <laughs> he's freaking. He's freaking God of War. <laughs> I just I just say it's like well. I don't really care about these characters. Like what Star Wars did. Because a lot of people are comparing this movie to Star Wars. Which is smart. Which is fun. That's correct. But, I mean, Star Wars had very good character development, you know? You cared about Obi-Wan Kenobi because he took care of Luke Skywalker. There was, like, this really... Yeah, yeah, you felt something yeah, when he died. Yeah. Or died. Yeah. Midichlorian. <laughs> okay, that was bullshit. <laughs> you felt... You, you knew... You knew who Han Solo was, and you didn't like him at first, but, you know, because of his character is actually yeah. good... Because Obi Wan believed in him, you know. So you get it. Yeah. So the, all these characters had actual character development. Yeah, but this but one is just like. Yeah, this one was like, here's characters. There it is. Here's here's this guy. Here's the collector. Here's this guy. Look at this. It's really guy. pretty. Here, here's some. Here's, <laughs> here's, a, here's a butt. Here's a spaceship. Look, look. It's a guy from uh, Talladega Nights. Hey, look at this. Look at this. It's a, it's a planet, but it's inside a god's head. Boom. It's uh yeah. <laughs> I, I, why did they explain that? I don't really care. Oh, because it's cool. I understand I know, I think that's but it's like cool. they they could have they could have taken out the, the collector sequence altogether and then just kinda had them running and then be like, Oh, so we're forced to be together. So who are you? Yeah. <laughs> and then and then you wanted the flashback sequences of no, the, no, the, the no, past? not everybody. No, no, it could have been done cool, like uh like Drax. Like Drax could have been telling his story and then it would have been like this like really neat artwork. Instead of a flashback, it's like this artwork, like a wall painting almost. You know, like, yeah, because I mean, of, pe- of his people. Yeah, like cave painting style. Yeah. And it'll show like his, his family dying and stuff. And yeah. they'll be like, oh, yeah. crap. And then, you know, the Gomorrah thing was already explained. Yeah, and then Rocket Raccoon being experimented No, no, uh, the Rocket Raccoon being re- experimented on. What well, uh, touched? Well, it was touched. It was touched, but it was like... It's a Marvel movie. You can't, you can't focus on that. No, no, I know you can't, but like he only got mad about it once. Yeah. And like he got they, drunk. Yeah, and then they kept making fun of him for it. He never looked really uncomfortable until that one point. Yeah. So there's there's no consistency within that. Right, right, right. So if they if they just did that earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then they didn't they didn't call him that for the rest. Yeah, of the and movie. or like or like when somebody else called him that, and it it looks show it should show that it bothers him. Yeah, or he like snaps at them. Yeah, because like. Showed up. Uh, uh, a character like Groot you don't really need to yeah, explain like, just that there. was fine I guess because the way Groot worked was he worked as like their dog he's the Chewbacca yeah so he's just you know he's just, he's, he just encompasses you know the, the, the light heartedness of the group yeah. which is fine but I mean these characters it's like I didn't I didn't care about them if Rocket Raccoon died it'd be like oh man the little Groot little... guys spoilers oh, okay Okay. Assuming that people didn't see it. I mean, there's still people that didn't see it. I didn't see it for a while. Yeah, but assuming people didn't see it already? I'm just saying. Okay, fine. 
So that's the only problem I had with that movie. But everything else, like involving the collector and that that specific, like, why is he there? Yeah, there's no reason for him to be there. They just wanted to throw more characters in. Yeah, there. yeah, exactly. Because it easily could have been Gamora. Because like she she can't she couldn't have been ignorant the whole time. Yeah, she could have been. She could have known what the thing was. Yeah. Because she was trying to get it. Yeah, her not knowing what it was was kind of yeah, strange that was kind of stupid. Yeah, because like she's supposed to be the daughter of Thanos and like yeah, and why then, would why would he know? And then she was trying to sell it to somebody. Well, to him, to the collector. Yeah. That was the so the collector could have easily just. But been like out. she 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 couldn't have been ignorant about it. Yeah. Like you said, I but, mean, she has to know what she was what yeah. she was selling. And the collector easily could have been a uh, um uh what you call it the um. No, they could have just been chased the I, whole time. I guess. They, they would be on the run. And that way they could have more, like, pew-pew sequences. You know, what I meant is that if, the, if they really wanted that character in the movie, it easily could have been a cameo th- cameo scene. And they still could have had the the girl. I don't know. I just I just think they, that, whole, that whole plot device was yeah, stupid. Yeah, But, like, the thing is they needed to show how powerful the thing was. There's other... No, they, There's they could other have, ways. They could have done that when the, other, when the bad guy got it. Yeah. True, true, true. Or when the Gabor would explain what it was. Because they did the same thing. Yeah. They explained the other people who got it first. And what happened to them. Yeah. So. You know, why not? Yeah, why not her? It'd be a lot easier. And then, it'll be, a, it, it's like, everybody wants to be like Downtown Abbey and like the Game of, Game of Thrones. We're like, oh, there's 50,000 characters. Yeah. Like notes. <laughs> yeah, but they have, but the thing is those, those have episodes. Exactly. Have, so have they seasons. Can, exactly. So, so it's like, why not just keep it simple and then just kind of move forward in a pace. So rolling on this sun negative train to uh, darkness, we saw Expendables 3. I was really excited for Expendables 3 because I love Antonio Banderas more than anything. And he was the best character. Yeah, he was the best character, <laughs> but the movie overall, I hated it. It's pretty bad. It should have started halfway where like the movie was. Yeah, so like we didn't we didn't have to see Sylvester Stallone getting the new team. Yeah, we didn't because have to see that. he shouts at them and then they all run away and then he gets a bunch of kids. It's like it's. It doesn't really, really make any sense. I know. Yeah, the first two movies I liked. Yeah, well, yeah, because they're they're funny. And they're written in they were written in that loose plot. You know what I mean? That action movies have was really yeah, loose. I think I that think you could follow. I think this movie was just was made just because Expendables three. Oh exactly, yeah. Yeah, so, just to finish it. No, I think I think they're doing another one. Oh really? Yeah. I mean it's like the story was not that good. I thought Kelsey Grammer was gonna be the bad guy. But he's not. He's the he's the employer. He he's, <laughs> he's in employer. it for like he's like in it for like two minutes. Yeah. It was Mel Gibson who was the bad guy. That was, yeah, that was pretty okay. That's pretty good. But there's like there's also a lot of useless scenes. <laughs> of uh, Mo Gibson buying artwork. Yeah, for he was just mm, yeah. <laughs> Mo Gibson. Mm, I'm rich in ecstasy. And it's like okay. How do I hate you? Yeah. And the only reason, I kinda liked him. Yeah, I kinda liked him too. And then like they're like, this is why you're supposed to hate him, and they showed the file with the But they didn't show us the file. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They showed the file of um, you know, the, the soldiers and stuff yeah, that they're he killed. Yeah, you're like, oh he killed people. So mm-hmm. did Sylvester Stallone. He killed a lot of people. He killed a lot of people. I saw the other movies. <laughs> <laughs> and then I like how uh, uh, Wesley Snipes was crazy and then he wasn't. Cause he was all like, Oh jingle jangle, jingle jangle and then they're like, oh, okay, let's let's just do this guys, you know? <laughs> like the, the, okay, I like I like crazy, uh, uh, I like crazy blade. That was crazy blade's pretty good. That was really good. I, I like, but, the, but the, yeah, the best thing in the movie was desperate Antonio Banderas. More about the Expendables in part two. It's gonna happen. Hello, adventurers. We're gonna go out, we're gonna go out with a bag, right? That's racist. <laughs> you never had a problem with my, with my, the way I do things, no? Oh. <laughs> Ha ha ha!